Oh girl, I know I'm gonna piss some people off with this video, but Shane of EthericalsCosm.com and welcome back to my channel. As always, love having you guys here. I really had to come and speak on this issue that's been on my heart for like forever and a whole day. So I figured why not come and sit down and, you know, gag with you guys a little bit and put on some makeup because the girl got to go out and I got to put on a face to do that. So let's talk about it, sis. So basically, read the title of the video. Yes, I want to hold plus size women accountable but yeah i want to hold plus size women accountable for a lot of the problems we have within this plus industry because the thing that bothers me the most is that people want to blame the brands all together and never want to take accountability for their role and why we have as many problems with the plus the plus industry so i want to talk about it you are welcome to disagree with anything i have to say that's the purpose that's the beauty of being a human you can disagree and keep it pushing. The one, one of the few things that really like grinds my gears about plus size women is like, we are the first to complain and tell these independent designers that they need to lower their prices for us and that it, you know it's not fair that we gotta pay more and the only way that you'll shop with them is if they're they have cheaper prices which is all well and good because if some things aren't in your budget sis something just ain't in your budget and that's totally okay the problem i have when people say stuff like that and not think about the designers that they're talking to why we don't never go to gucci or louis vuitton or Michael Kors, Marc Jacobs, none of these mainstream designers and tell them they should lower their prices to accommodate us. But we will go and tell a plus size designer, lower your prices, I can't afford it. Like that, what, sis, if it ain't in your budget, ain't it in your budget, that's fine. But you will have a Gucci bag on your arm, but you're gonna have a YSL bag on your arm, but you're gonna wear lubes on your feet. Like I understand not everything that's expensive is of quality, I believe it. And I will definitely not argue that. I think sometimes brands like Tori could be expensive for no reason. And you're really not getting the quality that you're expecting. So there is some validity to that statement. But it, to you know, I see it. The Instagram pages of brands like my, some of my favorite independent designers. Courtney Noel, Zelly Frischi, you know, Jabri. These women are sitting here literally sewing all of their custom pieces, sewing their dresses, sewing their items for you to shop, to give you a luxury vibe, to give you the same access to luxury pieces that our skinny counterparts have. And some of y'all are up in these comments talking about it's not fair, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to pay $20 for a dress. What? But y'all got Gucci belts, you know, I'm sick of people want champagne taste of beer by the pocket. I am one of them. I can't afford a Zelle Fischi dress. I love, I love Elon. I think Elon is an amazing, amazing designer. She is not in my budget, but I will be damned. I will be damned if I go and tell this girl to lower her prices just because I can't afford it. No, they need to get my coin up. That's what that means. Not go tell her to lower her prices to accommodate me. What I look? No. We gotta stop this. If you cannot afford something, sis, you can't afford something. There is no shame in that and there is no judgment in it. It is okay that you can't afford something. Then you either stack your coins until you can or you find something that you can afford. Because everything is not going to be Forever 21. Everything is not going to be... See, people want to want to run up on the Fashion Nova and pretty little things and all these little cheap places, you know, which are great. You need to have some affordable pieces and you need, and if you can, have some luxury pieces. But we cannot expect these, these brands, these designers to lower their prices to accommodate us. That's not fair to them because we don't do it to mainstream designers. That is where my beef lies with this. We don't act the same, the same type of, well, can you lower your prices to accommodate me? No. Gucci, we expect it. Marc Jacobs, we expect it. Okay? Designer brands, Probable Garoon, we expect it. You expect these brands to have a certain price point, and we don't say anything about it. But when it comes to a plus size designer who was making custom pieces for your behind, you want to tell them, oh, lower your prices. I can't afford that. It's not right that you're so expensive. Well, sis, if you got a problem with paying their price, how about you go buy your own dang on material, make your own dang on patterns, go put on your own, you know, make it, take your own measurements, sit down and sew it. And you tell me that it's going to be easy to just go sell a whole dress that they done made for your behind for 30 bucks. 
You tell me how that works out. And then, or when you buy cheap dresses, you put that junk in the dryer one good time and it's your kid size. Like, get out of here. Like, stop. I, I <laughs> That really bothers my soul because I'm like, I don't know how to sew. I never, I did not, I was not blessed with the gift of sewing. But being that I have enough friends who do this and I watch how hard they work, it makes me upset that people want them to lower their prices to accommodate them. No, how about you get your coin up and then you invest in yourself and what you're putting on your body. But whatevs, you know, who am I? I am just Shayna. We have got to do better, I'm trying to tell you. The next problem I have with some plus consumers, and I'm going to emphasize some, okay? I'm not saying all of us, because we all are in the same boat. But for a, a industry that wants to be included so badly, we are the most exclusive, even amongst our own. We are terrible at this. We are horrible. We will quickly, we're quick to tell somebody they ain't plus size enough as if we don't have enough division in the world. Fat women be out here telling somebody they ain't fat enough. Like, you don't, you're not fat enough. You don't look like me, so you're not, you're not plus size. You know how many times people done told me at a size 18 I'm not plus size just because you're a size 24 and I don't look like you? Like, I have, I have heard that so many times and I'm like, sis. I shop in Lane Bryant, I shop Ashley Stewart, I shop Catherine's, I shop every plus size store because that's my size. I am plus size. But at a size 18, oh, you're not plus size. Size 18 is not plus size. Like, what? Who? How? How are you, who are you to determine what somebody is going to categorize himself as? You know what I'm saying? And then we we have this division amongst ourselves, but then let mainstream America tell us something. We out here ready to boycott. But we have, we're, we're just as detrimental and mean to people that look just like us. A lot of the rude comments, you know, granted, they do come from mainstream people, but I have the, a lot of the rude comments I read on a lot of, not necessarily mine, but just on like a lot of brand social media, a lot of blogger social media, uh, other plus size women. We are the worst ones to ourselves. And it is disgusting to watch, quite frankly. Some of y'all are really disgusting to watch. You are tell a woman that looks just like you, she can't wear something because she shouldn't, because your behind wouldn't do it. How? How, Sway? How are we gonna tell another woman that looks like another plus size woman, another fat woman, whatever you wanna call yourself, that she shouldn't or can't wear something because I wouldn't do it. But let uh, let Vogue say some mess like that. Y'all are ready to be out here. Y'all done had new hashtags and everything. Let me rewind a couple years when O Magazine decided to come out their mouth and say that the only people that should be wearing crop tops are people that have flat stomachs. Y'all was out here hashtagging it. Y'all was out here plus size and amazing wearing crop tops. Y'all was ready to boycott all that was O Magazine. Okay, but in the comment section, it's the same people that's telling women not to wear crop tops are other plus size women. We was, folks was right there being nasty and rude and disgusting and it appalls me. It really does. I am so appalled by some of the things I read about other plus size women. And the thing about it is you're allowed to have an opinion. It's not a question of whether or not you can have an opinion. The problem is you think that your opinion is valid because you wouldn't do something. And then you get mad when somebody who doesn't look like you tell you about yourself. There are a lot of things that I think some girls out here have on that I think are horrendous and shouldn't be wearing. I'm allowed to feel that way. However, I am not allowed to go up under her picture and tell her she can't wear it. There's a difference in that. I don't have to like what a chick has on. That's not my job to like it. And it's not your job to like what I have on either. The difference is, it is not my place to go and tell her she can't wear it because I don't like it. That does, life don't work that way. Just because somebody wearing something you don't like, it's not your place to tell them that they shouldn't wear it. Especially if you go ahead and co-sign it on some, well, I'm big and I wouldn't do that. Then sis, don't do it. But why is it because you don't want to do it, somebody else can't. But, you know, you're fat, so it's okay. It is not all right. You cannot demand respect from the quote-unquote outside world when you out here doing the same old shady mess. And like I said, you're allowed to have your own opinion. You're an adult, you're a grown woman. We live somewhat in a free country. You're allowed to voice said opinion. But the problem is just because you have an opinion does not make you free from consequences, okay? And it's not all right to disrespect somebody, be mean to somebody, be mean-spirited just because you have not come to terms with yourself. 
too many times I'm watching women tear each other down because you have not gotten to, to your self your self confidence level. So instead of learning how to make yourself feel better, you out here try to tear somebody down because you want to bring them down to your level. Because I'm like, we could be we're better than this. We're better than all of this. Well, I wouldn't do that. She shouldn't do that. And you know, I'm plus size too, and I wouldn't wear my arms out. Okay, well then don't wear your arms out. Plain and simple. But don't tell me I can't. The next thing that really chaps my hide. <laughs> a lot of folks would be out here complaining to the lame Brian to the world about how they don't use models that don't look like them how come we don't see the size 24 models and we need to see size 22 and this and that while I agree I'm on board with that concept but I also need all that energy to go towards the modeling agencies because let's let's talk let's talk some tea real quick let's have a real conversation a lot of brands particularly your mainstream brands like your Lane Bryant's your Ashley Stewart your Catherine's they do not hire freelance models or rarely hire freelance models so they're going to model modeling agencies you can't hire models that aren't signed oh, why why you're sitting there complaining to lane bryant to the world and why we're yelling at them what that energy should go there as well but we need to be up under dorothy combs milk model management state management jag ism i mean ipm msa all these model agencies that that sign plus size models that aren't signing above a size 18 maybe a 20 we need to put that energy into them because the only plus size model that's out here that's above a 22 is test holiday and Girl, Tess Holiday can't be the only size 22 plus model out there. She can't. But these, these, a lot of these agencies aren't hiring those models, so they're not getting work. So are you sitting here fussing at, at the brands for not using models that look like you, which that's a whole different ball game. That energy also needs to go towards their modeling agencies to pressure these agencies to actually hire these models you want to see. Cause it doesn't stop just with the brands, but no, we want to just be all up in their comment section complaining and writing op ed pieces and how come they don't look like me? Rah, 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 rah. But it's crickets underneath a Dorothy Combs page, though. <laughs> oh, why? The next thing we need to show up for brands that actually do what we ask of them. Brands like Eloquy have started using size 22, 24, 26, 28 models. If I'm not mistaken. Can't just be in the comment sections complaining. When they do what we ask of them, we need to clap it up for them. We need to show up for them. Use our coins and show up for them. Get in the comment section when something is good. When something that you like was done. But somehow we get real quiet. We quiet as a mouse when what we're vocal about gets done. Like sis, where you at? You, I don't see you. I don't see you no more. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. We quiet. Like I said, we are responsible for a lot of things that go on in this industry. Our money speaks. And I don't think people realize just how much their money talks for them. You know, they'll say, well, if we pull our money, they'll recognize and they'll, they'll start doing what we need them to do. Okay, but also understand these brands are not dumb. There are a lot of brands that a lot of people want to see do plus sizes and they want to be able to shop certain brands and this and that. Let me tell you why places like Zara ain't never gonna do plus. We are our own worst enemies, period, point and blank, sis, okay? these There are people whose sole job is to just scroll and look at comments on social media. They see all of our conversations. They see how nasty we are to each other. They see how much we're not gonna pay for that. They see how much we don't want to do. Okay, so they're taking all of this information in stride. So if I was a, a mainstream designer and I'm looking to explore into plus and I see how the conversation that plus size women are having with themselves, amongst themselves, about how they don't want to pay for this and they don't want to pay for that they're not going to do this and they're tearing down the brands that already exist for them i'm not gonna go into plus quite frankly like i mean granted that is not the only reason but it is definitely something that's detrimental i don't think we recognize that like people these brands have market research for a reason they watch how we spend our money they watch who we spend our money on they look at what models are being used to spend their money and let me tell you something as much as we want to i think a lot of people don't understand in theory you want to see a bigger body in practice you really don't and it scares a lot of women to have that that reality because it sounds cute to have the size 20 the 22 24 model it sounds real cute but in practice, you don't because you spend your money on the smaller model. And I, you know, the, the reality is this. 
most brands, they'll put the same outfit on a size 14 or, and then they'll put the same outfit on a size 18 model. More often than not, the size 14 is what sells out. So people are buying off a smaller body and don't realize they're doing it. And you know what that tells brands? As much as y'all hoop and holler about what y'all wanna see, in practice, you don't even know. In practice, you show up for the small models, you know? And uh, let me just say, this is not all plus size women. We all ain't out here doing this. This is not all of you. There are a lot of consumers out there who really support the luxury brands, that really support the cheaper brands, that will show up for all size models. So this is not all plus size women. Let me be clear about that. This is not all plus size women. And if, it's, if this is getting under your skin, you probably one of them. Like the truth of the matter is, yo, we gotta clean up house first. Sweep around our own front door first and, and before we go out here and wanna tell the world how to treat us. What we as an industry never want to admit for some unknown reason is that as much as we wanna talk about how oh, everybody doesn't have an hourglass and don't have a flat stomach and we should celebrate more, you know, different types of bodies. So who's getting the likes on Instagram and social media and who's getting the shares? <laughs> the chicks with the hourglass bodies and flat stomachs. Like, I, I, there's nothing wrong with liking that kind of body, but let's not act like that just came out the blue. This is what I'm saying, hold yourselves accountable. I'm not saying that we're all, like it's, we're the only problem here because yes, brands are pushing a certain image. However, there are a lot of, a lot of round women out here who are slaying harder and don't get nearly the fraction of the likes. Let's just, let's not pretend like it's just like, it's only the brands out here perpetuating a certain image because we eat it up. We are the ones that are, that are telling them continuously, I want to see this because we don't show up for the round chicks. Said Shayna, slow it down because you about to be out there hurt somebody's feelings. We don't show up for them, period, point blank. We don't. And it, like I said, it all can't be test holiday. Let's just keep complaining to the brands about what we want to see and then don't actually support it. Shut it up. Like, that's just how I feel. Like, I know that sounds like so mean. Like, Shannon, how dare you tell people to shut up and they're allowed to feel how they want to feel. You are allowed to feel however you want to feel, sis. That is, I am not here to tell you how to feel. I'm simply speaking on how I feel and how some of y'all look crazy out here because you're absolutely ridiculous. I have said, many of you know, I have said, Time and time again, I am not body positive. Um, I choose to just to not categorize myself as that because I am entirely too abrasive and too mean to be body positive. I'll be very honest with you guys. I feel like the body positive movement is just as detrimental to a lot of things going on in our industry. There's a lot of, you know, you can't, you only, it's only one way to be body positive. Dear God, you decide to be fat and work out because now you don't love yourself. So you, there's no way you're body positive. You know, dear God, you're, you're fat and say, I like wearing shaper. I agree with shaper. You're not body positive. Like this industry don't know what the hell they want. You want everybody to love you and include us and stuff but you are steady excluding people we are steady telling people they can't be a certain way to be fat we are steady telling women what how to look and what to do and what to feel in order to be included in this plus size industry and it's like i've got this type of time like it's exhausting some of y'all out here are exhausting and i realize i recognize that the plus industry is my bread and butter and i'm this is not to alienate anybody i don't want anyone to feel like i don't care about them well and when i started my blog Yes, I was trying to be body positive and I took on everybody's baggage in that process. And I was very careful about what I said and how I said it because I was afraid of offending people. Then it got to a point where like, I can't take on all your baggage. And it always baffles me when that happens. I'm like, but wasn't y'all just sitting here being rude to another fat girl? So when, when Cosmo is rude to us, it's a problem. But when we're, when we're rude to us, it's all well and good because we all fat. Or whenever Torrid posts that child, Anna from Glitter and Lasers, girl, some people are, I mean, they run through it. They will tear Anna down. And I'm like, it is astonishing to me. She's, she's the body y'all want to see. And y'all are in the comment section ripping the girl to shreds. And they, and again, they co-sign it as, Oh, well, I'm plus size too. I have an opinion. Okay, well, mainstream media has an opinion. So the next time somebody says some, sh some <laughs> girl, the next time somebody says something to you that you don't like, shut up. 
because they got an opinion. I don't want to see no more op-ed pieces. I don't want to see no more Yahoo articles, refinery articles, bustle articles. When a when a mainstream out media outlet, magazine, or brand says they don't want to do plus or they come for us in a way we don't like, I don't want to hear y'all mouths because it's an opinion. Because y'all seem to have one when it's us. But when it's somebody else saying the same dirty mess to us, it is wrong. It's fat shaming. How dare you? That's not all right. Let's boycott. No, ma'am. Messing around with y'all. I done messed up my dang on face. Look at that. Look, what, what is that? <laughs> okay. I'm very passionate about how I feel about this because it really bothers me. I watch such a detriment in the industry and it's not okay. It really is not okay how we treat each other, how we talk about each other. Y'all have got to stop. Y'all have got to stop this. So I say all of this foolishness because I believe in this industry. I think we can, we have made leaps and bounds over the last few years and we have a lot of work to do. Not just, you know, getting accepted from the outside world, but except you know, within ourselves. We can continue to demand the best out of these brands. We need to continue to demand better fit models and more body diversity, more diversity in hair, more diversity in skin color. We need to, could, we need to continue to demand diversity, but we also have to support those who are making the attempt to give us what we ask for. And we need to take responsibility for what we are doing to ourselves within this industry. It is okay that we are not perfect and it is okay to continue to want better for yourself. I am not saying to get complacent. I am not saying that, oh, just because they did it, they must really love us. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is we need to show up when we need to show up. <laughs> So that's how I feel about all of that. And I'm, I am got my hair slayed. I got my hair washed and retwisted by Napstar in New York. Yes. Um, so there you have it, y'all. That was just my feeling um, on the plus industry. I want to know what you think and what you feel. Please, let's have an open discussion in the comment section down below. But please, let's keep it respectful. I'll respect you as long as you respect me and respect each other. So please, 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 let's comment down below. Let's talk. Let me know how you guys feel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.